A lot of my day gets taken up with negative, negative comments, like a lot of them, which is okay. I don't even read them anymore. But every so often, we get a really cool story. So let me read you this real fast. What's up, Josh? Question, big guy. My son sits with me and watches you paint live with me sometimes. I'm currently going through a life-changing event, and I really want to get him one of your paintings to remember me by, but we are low income and so far in debt I can't afford one. What would it take to get a small little piece of your art, maybe as a donation I can gift him? If it's not possible, I understand. I hate asking for a handout, and I'm actually quite embarrassed to do so, but it's very important to me. I love your work and watching your lives. Thank you. Skylar sent me that message 15 minutes. 15 minutes before I was due to go live, and there, I couldn't think about anything else throughout the whole thing. How I wanted to give him a painting and which painting I was gonna give him, and during that live show, the painting I was gonna give him that he really wanted, sold. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't have enough time to take it out of the stores, all the stress and pressure, right? So I decided I was gonna gift him one, and we got it on video. So Skylar, Tanner, I hope you guys are excited. Check this one out, and we'll just roll the tape. Just roll it. Roll it, Josh, roll it. Hi guys, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Today we did a gorgeous 16 by 20 inch blue portal seascape. Just a really special painting with a special meaning. And I hope you stick around and find out what that meaning was. Make sure you get your three colors out. Check the description, find the colors you need. Make sure you get your canvas nice and wet. Get ready to throw some paint on it. Let's do it just like this. Hey guys, back in the studio again. We're doing a very special piece today. It's for a boy named Tanner. From, it's a gift from his father. And anytime there's a father and son or a parent and child kind of interaction. You guys know it gets to me. You've seen that video. So we decided, well, I decided that I was gonna do a painting and I was actually gonna give him a painting uh, that I already had and ship it off to him. And then that night, the painting got sold. I didn't get a chance to take it out of my store and that painting got sold, which gave me the opportunity to be able to come back and do one just live. Well, not live, but on video, do a tutorial and then we'll be able to keep it forever on the YouTube channel, and you guys can watch it over and over and over again. Just talking to you, Tanner, you and Skyler. He's a good dude, man. I've been in that position. I've literally been there. You just, it's, I just feel for you, man. I feel for you. So I'm gonna try to make this one literally the coolest painting that we've ever done. As a portal seascape, it's gonna be blue. It's gonna be gorgeous. Tanner's favorite color is blue, apparently. So we're gonna be doing a blue one. It's just gonna be excellent. I hope you guys are ready, because I'm ready to go. So let's do it right now. All right, so as you guys know, we put our blue on our canvas, took our liquid clear, covered the entire thing. I didn't show it in this video because we're trying to go a little quicker, make this one a little bit easier to watch, not have it take a whole hour, right? So we'll come in here, we're gonna load up our brush nice and white and thick with our paint. And set the palette down. We gotta pull out the big old moon stencil. All right, our 12 inch moon stencil. We're gonna put it about right in the center and go around it without moving, putting a little bit of pressure on our, on our fan brush, right? Don't need a whole lot of pressure, just a little bit. A little bit all the way around, even, even pressure, right? You don't wanna push thick on one side and then not thick on the other side. That's not gonna work out good. Now, don't move your little stencil. Let's start peeling some things away. And we're gonna push and we're gonna pull and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. And it's gonna go every which where. It's just gonna be amazing, right? The more paint that we put on it, the brighter it's gonna be. And I'm not really gonna worry about the bottom section because this wave, in this scene anyway, comes out like onto the sand. So the sand opens up, the portal opens, the sand, oh, it's just amazing. I can see it already in my brain. It's gonna be fantastic. Tanner's gonna love it. Skyler's gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. And I can't wait to see your versions of it. So. Let's start taking a little bit more white, a little bit brighter, all right, throwing it out here. I don't want them to all be exactly the same length, so every so often, throw a little bit longer out there, right? Don't move your stencil. It's kind of like a little backboard. You can play basketball when you're a kid, right? A little backboard you can bounce your, your brush against. As I say, don't move it, it moves. You can bounce your brush against it, and that way you don't go inside your little portal, right? And again, we're not really worried about what's gonna happen out over here. Just want to make this one as pretty as we can make it. All right, a couple little things just shooting out. Almost like a clock, guys. Just like a clock. Very cool. Just like that. Now, why don't we take this guy and make it a little bit brighter in some areas. All right, a little bit brighter. Because we're going to take it and pull it out with our brush. So, if we just make it a little even around the edge, just like this, and then we'll take it with our other brush and pull it out. It's gonna be amazing. You ready? Are you ready right now? Three, two, one, boom! Just like that. 
Very cool. Now, you don't really want to cover in all the rest of that stuff, right? This is, you got to keep the inside of this very dark. So we're going to take our one inch brush, just like I said, from the edges, pulling it out. It just softens it. It blends it in a little bit. Get as close as you can to that edge, but we're going to try to leave the inside very dark, very soft. This portal just went across our eclipse. It opened up and just all of a sudden we were able to see inside and into another dimension. Into a dimension where Tanner and Skylar can be happy forever. Right? It's something you can look at. Remember all the good times with your dad? Right? I wish I had something like that. Man, very cool. Not gonna worry about the bottom because again, it's gonna come out to the side, but we're not gonna play with it too much. And if you didn't want yours to, right, just pull it out a little bit like that and you're good to go. Awesome little portal scene around our sun, right? And our moon. So let's come in here. We're gonna take a little filbert brush, a little teeny tiny guy, a little bit of paint on the end of it, right? And then we're gonna come up here and boom. we're gonna come up here and blow right there into the the sky, and then we're going to start to spin. And as we spin it, it's going to rotate out. Look at how big it's getting. It's rotate out into this perfect little circle. It's just amazing. Boom! Just like that. It's almost got like a black hole in the center of it, right? Now, if you take your take your brush and just kind of fill that bit in right there, just making our little circles, kind of filling it in, and then you can go back in a little bit lighter pressure just to get some of those guys to go away, blend it all away, bam. Boom, got your big old moon out there in the sky. Big old moon. Anytime you guys are apart from each other, you look at the moon at the same time, it feels like you guys are together, right? Very cool. Now we're gonna take a little bit of our white paint right here on the brush and come up here and just start making little bits of just cursive writing. I forgot how to write in cursive a long time ago, so it doesn't look like cursive, but it just reminds me of little bits, little ups, little downs all over the place, right? Now come in here, start to blend it, take it to the edge, but not touch the side. You don't want to touch the corner back there or the edge of our little bit of portal. It's not going to make it look good. The softer you do it or the more intense that you blend it, right? The more it's going to mix in and turn blue. The softer you do it, the more it's soft and bright white that they're going to remain. Why don't we come back? Just add a couple little bits of highlights right in here. Bingo, bang. We're going to make the prettiest clouds for Tanner and Skylar. Just amazing. And if you don't know, if you just scrolled to this point in the video and you've skipped forward like a bad... Don't be skipping forward in the videos. But uh, Skylar messaged me and, and said he'd really like to get a a painting for his son and he's not you know not in the best position and i said dude i totally got you no worries at all say less say less and i'm gonna hook it up because i'm just a big sucker for that kind of a story bang just like that a little bit of our white right in the middle that way it doesn't spread to the sides too far right you don't want it to go too far to the edge so we can come in here and just very lightly start spreading it out mixing it in together right Mixing that white together, maybe pop down a little bit, a little bit darker area back there, and feed stuff back to that in a little light line because it's a little darker, right? See if we came in like this, make our little our little mustache back there. I love mustache. I love that little mustache. Take this guy, slide him back very lightly, right? Just trying to get that light color to reach the last little bit of light color and not touch it. That's the goal, All right? Sliding it back, making our little white lines, little white, just little things, little disturbances, right? It's all they are. A little bit of a streak of paint. And it'll kind of give your eye that impression that the water is just sliding its way back to that little wave back there. We're going to take our one inch brush and kind of make it soft. Spreading it to the side, but we don't want to go, we don't want to push it, right? And we don't want to pull it, so we just got to be very careful. Pull this guy over to this side, about as far as you want to go, right? Slide this guy back, boom. You got your bright areas, dark areas, little lips here, little thing over there. And then we're gonna come in with more white paint, right? And we have to create an eye of our wave. So maybe our little eye was like right in here. And you're like, what do you mean? There's no wave there, right? Oh, well, why don't we come up like this? And then once we're up there, we're gonna start to crest over. Bang, just like that, rolling it down. Just like we do with all the seascapes. You get that first little crash, crashing bit of our wave right there. And then we're going to take our brush like this, 
come in here. Nice and light, trying to keep our little dark, what's it called, guys? Finish my sentence for me, a dark separator, right? That little darkness. It's not even, it's not pure black or pure dark paint, but it's darker than the two bright colors and it has to separate them, right? So as we came down here, change the shape of our way, there we go. Little angle, bang, came over like that. I'm gonna save this little section of dark, right? It's the same little dark section that's connected to our wave over here, so you can't lose it. And if you keep it, it looks even cooler. So we're gonna take the fresh side, we're gonna angle the brush over here. See how before my brush was angled this way and we were curving, right? And the handle was pointed over here. And now the handle's back here behind my hand and that's gonna cause us to flick it in a different direction. All right, it's gonna start coming out like this, rolling down, a little bit longer in the front, right? Going from the same spot out and then going back to the same spot. Then the next one, back to the same spot. Not moving down, connect, almost like spreading it out like a fan. And then the fan closes all to one singular point and then it opens up like that, right? Very cool. Get a little bit of brightness out on the top. Don't wanna make the top of the, uh, the bottom of the wave too bright, right? And over here, we're gonna start to, just little fingers, longer little bits. Looks like a claw coming for you in the middle of the night. It's all right, Tanner, dad'll be there. Dad'll be there to protect you. Bang, at least in your mind, very cool. See that little bit of darkness back there? Right there and over here, perfect. It's exactly what we want. And take our bit like this, slide it over there. Don't need anything too crazy. Doesn't have to go all the way to the edge. You can even line up with our little line right here and a little bit over there. And you're like, oh my goodness, what did you just do? Just trust, right? We're gonna take our brush. You haven't even added any new paint. Just gonna start sliding the paint back to that little white line back there, that little lip, right? And we're not gonna touch the lip. That's the key. Slide it back to the lip, but don't touch it. And it starts to cast this little shadow. Very cool. Now, as you can see, we lined up with our little straight line over there. We're gonna start to turn very small little things. It's a big old fan brush for the size of the wave that we're doing, right? Pushing it down that way because this guy gonna slide down like this, very light amount of paint, right? Slide off to the side. And then these little bits, these little lines and directional poles decide what our wave does, right? And come out here, we get this whole thing, it's just gonna be crazy gorgeous, just gorgeous. So let's go back and put in our bit of dark first. Now we're gonna come over here and all we did was touch it with white paint. We didn't use any other color except our blue that we put down and then we painted with white. Now we're gonna come over here and get this black and blue, all right? And that way we stay with just three colors, black, blue, and white, just like that. Gonna keep our dark separator by coming up underneath the white and pushing up into it, right? Not trying to cover our eye, pushing up into the wave to cover the water as it's splashing down. And then we decide where we want it to be, how far you want your darkness, what angle you want your little bit to come at. Very cool, just like that. Come up over your horizon, right? Make sure the splash goes over the horizon. It helps push your horizon back. There's many, many, many people send me photos and their wave doesn't get high enough and their splash doesn't go high enough, right? And that way it looks like you're looking almost down on the top of the wave and it doesn't look like Josh's, right? And they wonder why. You wonder why you gotta make sure everything's right, right? Now, let's take this guy and we're gonna come back across it with a little bit of liquid white, just a little bit onto our brush, a little bit of our titanium white, and that way it'll come off the brush easily and stick onto here. So we're gonna come back above the shadows, look, right above it. We didn't try to cover them up, went above it. And that way we crest above the wave and sometimes above, just barely above the, the horizon back there. And then we start popping it down like this, bam, bam, bam. Missing different areas, leaving little bits of dark, leaving little bits of light, sometimes, Sometimes, Tanner, there's gonna be a little bit of dark in your life. There's also gonna be a little bit of light and you gotta, you gotta kind of work with both of those together. And that's life for you, for everybody, right? You have good times, you have bad times. Everything is light and dark. And mix these up just so small, so light. There's barely even touching it. Oh, that looks cool. Like it's just coming and crashing down. Now we're gonna hit right out here. Boom, that's gonna be where our sand starts, right there. And you can see it's already gonna come out of our portal, looking really cool. All right, now we're gonna come back in to our liquid white, right here on the brush. Have a little bit of our titanium white, dump some off right here so it's not so thick. All right, we're gonna come up here and start spraying out little bits of stars way beyond in the galaxy back there. 
all the way around because this is a poor, this is a, it's a sun, right? It's a sun where the moon went in, in front of the sun. So you're going to have stars everywhere on the top, on the bottom. And then the best part right here coming out of our spray of our water, just all these cool things. It's almost like the, the wave has, has created all the stars in the galaxy. Just gorgeous. Teeny tiny little things. You don't need a whole lot. You don't want a whole lot of paint. It's gonna be too bright. Very cool. And there'll be all random sizes. It's gonna be so neat, guys. Take a little bit in here. A little bit thicker on there. Bang! Just pfft, wicked cool. All right, now. Let's come in back here. We're gonna finish our little bit of water. So we're gonna pull into our, our titanium white. Stay away from the liquid white part, right? We don't wanna go into the liquid white. It'll be too wet. So we'll come in here and let's just decide right back here. That's where our foam started hitting and it started sliding back until it connected up with our little line that was right there, right? Our little angles, everything's angles, right? And we're gonna to start to come back and before you go straight up like a ramp, right? You gotta have that little flick. Gotta go back. And then up, and then we get longer and longer and longer and longer, right? Got to go back, though. If you don't start back and then have that little rotational bit, then it's just going to look funky. Right? And again, the more and more and more you go to the side, the more bright it gets, the higher your little, your little bits come up from the edge. Very cool. Just pretending there's a little bit of a circle in there, but we're not grabbing up everything as we, you know, continue on and kind of pull your brush away. Just like that, guys. Very cool. Very cool, I hope you guys like that. And a little bit more white right up here to the top. A couple little highlights back and forth. Just a little bit of brightness is all you need. Take our one inch brush like this, grab the edge, nice and soft. See how I just drug a little bit of that color down like that? It starts to make our wave look a little bit more round, a little bit more see-through. It doesn't all have to be the same amount of white everywhere, right? Slide this guy back to our little bit. Very cool, pulling it to the side over here. Bingo, right to the edge but not touching it, leaving our little dark separator around our entire bit of ocean, right? Now maybe we'll come in here leave a little piece just down in between our foam and our wet sand, right? Just a little bit of a gap, maybe an eighth of an inch. Let's pull it down hard. Pull it down hard, but don't lose our dark separator, right? Gotta keep that little gap right there. That way it's gonna look like it's sitting up on top of the ocean, uh, on top of the sand anyway. All right, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna pull him to the edge. Ooh, we might actually be able to keep it in. Yes, we'll add a little bit back here. We'll pull him to the side like this. Bingo, leaving that little bit of darkness as our sand around the edge of our, our uh, uh, <laughs> eclipse, right? However you wanna put it out, it's totally up to you. you take our wetness, come out here, and then cover that little bit of dark line. Right. Where do you want it to live? All the way out here in space. Just wicked. All right now, we're gonna take another little bit of liquid uh, titanium white, and we're gonna come back in here, giving it a whole nother bit of a line of foam, some bit of something, right? We're gonna start to slide it back. Slide it out, all the way back to our little dark separator back there is all you need, that littlest bit. Bringing it out far enough have it make sense for my brain. Man, it doesn't all have to be perfect, right? That's very cool. Very cool. Take this guy very lightly, swiping it away first, and then back towards our wave, getting rid of that little dark separator. Just look at how it just sits up. Oh, that's so neat. Just so neat. And then we come in with a little bit of liquid white on the edge of this fan brush. Just a little liquid white, going right out onto the edge of that again. Wiping the liquid white off now so we don't have it on the brush anymore. And then sliding it back. Leaving the little dark areas, little light areas. Here we go. Lots of details for Tanner and Skylar. Thank you guys for touching my heart and, uh, and allowing me to do this, this little piece for you. And I really hope it brings you guys together if you're apart. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just hope you guys love it. That your story touched me. And... Um, I hope it touched everybody else, and it's just fantastic. Just fantastic. Right, what if we continue just like that? It'll still look like the aura. And then we have our little bit of water coming out. Very cool, you guys. Very cool. Take this littlest bit of our titanium white, 
just to brighten it up out here. But again, leaving that little quarter inch of darkness in between our bit of bright color and our next bit of bright color. So even though there's only a little bit of dark in there, it's still our little dark separator, right? That littlest bit. Very cool, guys. Just softening it out, just like that. That's wicked. That is wicked. So cool. So cool. All right, well, let's add Tanner and Skylar to the painting. We're going to put them out here on the edge like we do when we have our portal paintings. All right, the Paint With Josh family resides inside every painting. And then we'll take Skylar and Tanner and put them out here father and son will rule the galaxy as father and son awesome just awesome all right and come in here with our family a little bit more paint just like that there's one there's two three bam very cool i'm gonna sign this guy right down here in the corner and this is a Paint With Josh original number 783, if you can believe it. Pretty sure it's 783. I might want to check beforehand. Yes, I was right. 783. I hope you guys really treasure this. It means a lot to me to be able to do it for you guys. And, uh, you know, just from one father to another father, you know, stay strong, dude. I love you. And, uh, yeah. Not much else to say, right? All right, well, I can't wait to see your version of this painting. It turned out fantastic. Three colors, just a few minutes, and uh, you get all this crazy detail. So from me to you and from Skylar to Tanner, he loves you, buddy, and we love you guys. So from everybody here at Paint With Josh, take care. Have the rest of a good day, and bye bye